Hi, I'm Lisa Squire, Senior Communications Advisor for Alberta Health Services, and this is Health Matters. Joining me today is Jennifer Strubel, and Jennifer is a registered dietitian with Alberta Health Services. And today we're going to be talking about um, healthy eating and active living for youth. So welcome, Jennifer. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Um, so first of all, what are some of the challenges that youth face when it comes to making healthy food choices? There are array, an array of convenience stores and different options out there, for, out there for teens and quite often a lot of high calorie, high sugar, high fat choices. Teens are busy and uh, they have school, a lot of them have part time jobs, they're working and doing sports. Um, so preparing healthy meals and on the go is, is a challenge, it's a challenge for everybody. Um, Pre-packed foods are often not the most nutritious choices as well. And so what exactly does healthy eating look like for youth? Basically it's choosing a wide variety of foods from all the four food groups. So it's just as important to eat a variety of foods within each of the four food groups as it is to make sure that you're including foods from all the four food groups. Um, choosing foods that are low in, uh, in fat, saturated and trans fats, low in sugar, um, high in fiber are always healthy eating um, benefits as well. Um, choosing making sure that you're choosing the dark orange, the dark green fruits and vegetables on a daily basis, the whole grains, the low fat milk choices, and the lean meats, fish, poultry, beans, lentils, nuts and seeds, those kind of things. And how many servings from Canada's Food Guide should youth be consuming daily? Um, it varies based on uh, the girls versus boys. Um, so in each food group, Canada's Food Guide splits it into um, what the serving size recommendations are for boys and girls. So we look at the vegetables and fruits and we're looking at eight servings of vegetables and fruit for males and we're looking at seven servings for the females. Now quite often our portions are very different from what a Canada's food guide serving size is. So I brought a variety of um, food models here just to show what a healthy portion or serving size is according to Canada's food guide. So it looks like about a half of a cup of cooked vegetables, one cup of salad, a half a cup of 100% pure fruit, fruit juice, um, or a piece of fresh fruit about the size of a tennis ball. Um, when you move into the milk products group, I brought a couple of different sizes of glasses here. So depending on what size of your glasses are at home, so if you have a glass that's this size, you're looking at 16 fluid ounces or two cups. So if, if someone is filling their glass right up, then they're probably getting two cups of milk. Whereas this size here is, is one cup of milk, which is a, a serving size in Canada's Food Guide. Um, the yogurt and the cheese is another example there of a serving of, of milk and alternatives. When you move into the meat, um, in the, the meat choices, about a deck of cards is about two and a half ounces of meat, which is a Canada's Food Guide serving in the Meat and Alternatives Food Group. Great. And let's talk beverages. Uh, there's so many choices that are out there um, for youth. Mm -hmm. What are some examples of healthy choices for them? We, we want to focus on water and low-fat milk as our primary sources of fluid. When we look at the, like you said, the wide variety of fluids out there, we need to be making sure that we are um, looking at the caffeine as well as the sugar content. Um, pop has added sugar in it and the calories it provides does not, and does not give any nutrients. So if we look at, for example, a can of pop, a can of pop has 10 teaspoons of sugar in it and very few nutrients, whereas a bottle of pop has 18 teaspoons of sugar in it. Uh, sport drinks, unless youth are doing uh, non-stop intense physical activity for 60 minutes or more, um, they do not need the sport drinks. An average bottle of sport drink has about 8.5 teaspoons of added sugar to it. 100% uh, fruit juice can also fit into a healthy way of eating, but we want to limit it to about a half a cup or a juice box per day. And again, it should be the 100% pure fruit juice, not the beverages or the punches, where quite often they're just the water and the sugar with flavorings added to them. Great, thanks Jennifer. Thanks for joining us today. And thanks to all of you for watching. I'm Lisa Squires and this is Health Matters.